Really quick guys, before this video starts, please comment down below what state you're from and what you're paying for, 9mm and 45. Just so we can kind of all see what's out there and what you're paying for it. So, how much you're paying for 9mm and 45, what state you're from, and can you find it on an average day? So please comment down below, really want to get this information, and uh, I'd appreciate the help. Thank you so much, enjoy the video. Good morning, MO Seekers. It's another beautiful day in Houston, Texas. Actually, not really. It's gonna rain any minute, and uh, forecast says it should be raining right now, actually. So, gonna try and run to Academy, beat the rain, get some get some ammo real quick. Uh, looking for nine millimeter today, 22, uh, 10 millimeter, and that's about it. Uh, but first, let's get a donut. We're a little early. Let's go to one of my favorite, favorite spots. Now, if you don't live in Spring, Texas, you just don't know about Donutlicious. It is Donutlicious. One of my absolute top 10 favorite, absolute favorite donut shops in Houston, Texas. They have such a, a crazy variety of donuts. Ah. Let's go look at the menu. We got croissant sandwiches, the donuts. So it looks a little pricey on the front end, but if you look at how fancy and schmancy these donuts are, they're worth every bit of it. Yeah, look at that. Trying to beat the rain, trying to beat the rain. It's coming. As always, we're gonna start today at West Road. Kinda check it out. Uh, I always start the day here because they always have something. And if they don't have ammo, nobody has ammo. So West Road is kind of a very good uh, measuring stick of what's going on in the city of Houston. And um, if they have a pretty good selection, I might hit two or three academies today just to kind of see what's out there uh, across the city. I might end up in Katy or down south some, somewhere. But with the price of gas, and it's hard to go on these ammo hunts. Jeez, people. Stop buying all the gas. I heard a lot of people on the East Coast are hoarding gas now. It's probably those same schmucks that are hoarding ammo. If it wasn't for them hoarding all that ammo and hoarding all that gas, regular people would have plenty of gas and ammo. <laughs> anyway, there's a line here at West. Oh, my buddies are here, sweet. Today's gonna be a good day, I feel it. Over at West Road, on number fourth in line, there's not too many, oh, there is, oh shit. It's a pretty healthy line behind me. Let's go see, let's go see what they have. All right, do they have anything? Let's see, the mystery. Check that out. Bulk 38. Tools, me and my buddy Mike are over here at Academy. We, we found a gun we want you to review. And uh, we just think it'd be a good idea. And it's a good good thought for your channel. I'll send you something from Texas to review. Now, I don't know if you can handle it. You might have to bring your niece in or, or bring in someone with, with bigger hands. But check this out. Good morning, Ammo Seekers. Today is another beautiful, cloudy day in Houston, Texas. Uh, today we're gonna go over to West Road, of course, that's the go-to spot, but I'm gonna do something a little different. Today it's actually 10 o'clock. So the store's been open for an hour. Let's see if you can go at 10 o'clock after the store's been open for a solid hour and see what's on the shelf. So let's go find out. I like to make these videos where I just go at random times just to prove a point that you can stop at Academy after it opens and still get ammo. It's about 10 o'clock. Let's go see what they have. All right, we're getting close. We're getting close. Oh. Look at this.
All right. Since I'm here, I'll get these two sticks of butter. See? In and out. In and out at Academy. Got my sticks of butter. Time to go home. All right, folks, and there you have it. After two successful days of hunting ammo in Houston, Texas, uh, great success. The first day I got two bulk packs of Wildcat 22 long rifle at about $26. Was it $26 or $27? I think it was $27 a box of $500. Not a horrible price. And today, Thursday, I was able to get two boxes of this... Uh, stick of butter 9mm. I call it a stick of butter 9mm because it looks like a stick of butter and it's 9mm. Unfortunately I don't have the Wildcat because I gave it away to a buddy of mine who needed some 22 long rifle so I don't have any pictures of that. First I want to say thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Please push the like and subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. I'd really appreciate you subscribing and sharing this on your social media. You don't have to subscribe and it's always free to unsubscribe if you don't like the channel, but I would really appreciate it. Also, like I said in the beginning of the video, please post out what you're paying for a nine millimeter and 45, what state and area just about where you're from, just so other people can kind of see. So comment down below and uh, give us that information. That'd be great. And last but not least, please know that we have a new event coming up at the Renaissance Shooting Club. Uh, this one is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be in a tactical bay. We're going to have food. Um, we're going to limit it to about 30 spots and about 10 of those spots are already taken. So they're, they're going pretty quick and the price range is going to be about $25. Uh, we're going to have to keep this one probably 17, 18 year olds and up. We want to make sure it's a very safe environment. Yeah, so once again, that's going to be June 27th. It's a Sunday at the Renaissance Shooting Club. Usually it's a private range, but it's going to be open to the public for this event. So uh, all you need to do is come down, pay your money, shoot, have a good time, eat some barbecue, and just have fun. So again, June 27th, the details are down below. You have to email me your RSVP, and you can pay when you get there. So I really look forward to seeing everyone. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, just like this last one. Thank you again so much for watching. Till next time.